goes out and spur it. He said he knows better, but he goes out and he's a great big god off a hamburger, the biggest french fries and the biggest malt that he can get. He said he knows better, but he, uh, he will text from those spots. Mm -hmm. And so they know that once a week Bill O'Reilly, like a machine, at the same time such and such goes out and eats and it, they're, they're basically they're building a profile on Well, you. one of the things that we haven't talked about in that profiling is um, employers use it, they right? Can, and it can get you fired. Yeah, it can get you fired. And I can't believe that health insurance companies don't use it. Yeah, they are. The health insurance companies... Or here, life insurance companies. But here's the nasty part mm -hmm. of, of, the, um, of, of the advertising thing that they were talking about was basically it tags everything, and basically that information is then available because it is uh, it, it is gathered and it is freely gathered until somebody tells them they can't do it. They then can I, I get this stuff sent to me in the mail on a daily basis. I mean, it almost reminds me of you know like when people are on probation and they've got the, those ankle bracelets, yeah. right? And then they know it's like you can't go without this radius, and you know every place you went. It's like it's the same you know, thing. okay, you're not supposed to be eating hamburgers. Right, but your health insurance does that once a yeah. week you go to the hamburger place and I mean, you sit there for two hours. And you don't think that's not that won't be valuable under Obamacare? Mm -hmm. You know, which basically mm -hmm. has got all of this medical stuff is going to be done through the cloud. That I mean, mm -hmm. like Bill O'Reilly is not in the world's greatest shape, and they'll probably, I my guess, the doctor, don't pig out like that once a week. It's not good for you. You know, it, it's, but he does it anyway. I kind of think about you know when you go back a few years, one of the things that they were seeing in technology was that the goal was to be anytime, any place, anywhere on a, on your devices. Because part of the irritation that people were having is you buy a, a DVD, you'd have it for this device, but it wasn't good on that device. So you had a Sony PlayStation, you had to buy another DVD so you could use it on your Sony PlayStation. Then they brought a digital copy, yes. right? So we just bought Pirates of the Caribbean, which has how many different versions? Five. Yeah. So no matter... But only three of which actually work. Mm -hmm. So no matter what device we have, we should be able to watch it on. Yeah. But it also, <laughs> each device you put that on will send out that you've been, you're watching the Pirates because there is a... There is a code. I mean, I actually, I have this nasty habit of playing with things. I, I found the encrypted part on the thing. So, so they said, hey, you go over here and play with little things. I oh, said, this thing is encrypted. And then you go down, oh, that's the GPS encryption, which means they're telling you what device, what time it is played on, and where the bloody thing is being played. So oh. that's uh, it's very useful to advertisers to know that about the person. Mm -hmm. Because when you... Um, First of all, when you buy a, a, a tablet or a computer or a smartphone, you almost always fill out a thing. You know, like your uh, your address, your name, all of this stuff. So it's real simple. You know, he's, well, he's, he is. He's, he's on an express train at 80. What the hell is that guy doing overeating at McDonald's? Well, because he likes McDonald's. Right? They have really great warm french fries. And, or they and have tea. kids that like the, or the, McDonald's Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's free right. Wi-Fi. They're watching. Yesterday, we're watching cartoons over at McDonald's, and the guy telling the guy in advertising agency, "Leave the kid, the great big guy, leave the kids alone. They're watching cartoons." Mm -hmm. So they were having a good time. Yeah, they were having a good time, but um, that's valuable. But you know, like if okay, we're going to try another example. David Letterman is not supposed to have, not supposed to be smoking because of his heart. Mm -hmm. David Letterman has cigars, and I can guarantee you. That there is no such. I mean, I, I mean, I, I let her get me cigars because they got awful expensive from gifting sweets. <laughs> I'll take them there. But if I want something really, you know, if you want a good cigar, you don't go, you know, hey, go buy me that because they don't know what they're doing. You go to the store and buy it yourself. So, um, guess what happens with uh, Mr. Letterman's cell phone when he's when he's in a cigar store that he's not supposed to be in anymore. Mm -hmm. And you don't think that that won't ring bells with an insurance company? Well, you violated the terms of your agreement. You are smoking again. And you say, I'm not smoking. Well, we've got it right here. If you went to such and such and such and such time, you say, well, where the hell did you get that? That's the ad, that's the is. That's why it came as a shock to me to find out, you know, you know, you're on an unknown device in a location that you have never been. But part of it was you were on a known device. You were yeah. on a device that you typically access your internet on. Yeah, we did that. We did let people the pressure. Hey, they're Facebook bucks monitoring where we're at in the room. 
that said, uh, really what I do is a room with about a hundred or so press people. Most of them all signed to get on Facebook too, because they got you know, they're they're all filling out you know. Well, today I I met Carol Shelby. Today I met Parnell and Jones. Well, and it's nothing to mention that the fact that um, I they were harvesting names and oh god. And I thought I checked it off, and so my email address was all over all these other computers. Well, I'm sitting there going to computers. What I'm doing is I'm telling other people, and we're all sitting there as we go to computers, deleting everybody's email address on them. Because what, even though, okay, what I was doing is when the thing come up, it says you'll save password, and I, I permanently removed from the computer, which means it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> They're probably really unhappy, but... Um, you know, but it also gives you things stay signed in. Most of the people never see that stay signed in. Mm -hmm. And that also parks upon the thing. So anybody that comes up, all they have to do is park that name. And it's, it's got your password. And you're going, what? Yeah, remember when you go into some of the mail, there's that little checkbox? And oftentimes it's all. Yeah. You have to uncheck it. You have to uncheck it. Actually, a lot of a lot of okay, I don't like the new Yahoo thing because it basically really sucks. But it's more, it's uh, basically you agree to use it, you agree to have things sent to you. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's, they track you off of that too. But um, but it, it came as a shock that, you know, that we would basically ask where the hell you're at. Mm -hmm. I did tell them I'm in a goddamn press room. I told everybody else that you're basically tracking me in a press room. I didn't have that question come up the next time. The next time though, they wanted to know, name your friends. Didn't know who the hell they were. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. I'm sitting there. Oh God, you know, you know how we did it. We did it with a computer, second computer, and we're going down the list of my friends. Well, because sometimes, first of all, you don't really remember what they look like if you've got very many friends. Okay. So yeah. both, sometimes you know, but sometimes you don't. Especially if you look, if they pull your friends' pictures, if they're not in a lot of those pictures, mm -hmm. right, or they look similar to somebody else, you may. Okay. You may not have ever seen that picture for one thing. Here's a good one. The only person I actually know that actually has a real picture that I have a friend of except for her is me because I, I got my tuxedo picture from the, I, from, I have two, I have, a, I have my, when I'm working, my baseball cap and my t-shirt and shorts and the second one I'm in a tuxedo and they're both new pictures folks so it means that's me. A lot of the people put pictures up like we're 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And they say, well, who the heck is that? Oh, God, that's James Cameron. Mm -hmm. You know, but James Cameron's a little bit heavy now, but he's got this really... Well, sometimes thing. they put those pictures up because then people that don't know them, yeah, right? And I've seen a lot of celebrities that go, oh, yeah, and I'm the one... Because other people try and get in on their friend thing. It's like, yeah, it's me when I was such and such. So you know that it's... For example, James Cameron when he was five years old, yeah, well, right? Yeah, but I, I know an actress, basically, I can't tell her name is, but she's, she'd known what her brother told me she wanted me to go dancing with again. What? Her birthday was yesterday. She's, uh, what, what did she say? Yeah, well, we met him at a Comic-Con, big, muscular, healthy guy. And um, he, he, she's 64, folks. She got a picture from when she was 17 years old up there. Yeah, and you sat there... It's not the one that I'm asked, been asked to go dancing with. That's the one I went dancing with. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, 17, 64, 47 years difference. And, she, and she's got a 17-year-old picture up. And you say, you're trying to remember your money. Who the hell is that? Mm -hmm. And she's also had three or four name changes since then, too. And she's, she's her Facebook thing is under her... Her new mar her her, mar her last married name. Mm -hmm. So you sit there and figure out. You look at the picture. Ooh. Actually, I only missed one. <laughs> we had one. So luckily, yeah. here's a good one. You know what? First picture came up. What? Hers. It's a good thing. And then the next picture that came up, Cinegear. And then the next picture that came up. You didn't know. <laughs> they didn't know any clue. <laughs> and then and then I did find uh, the the. You know, you got to identify five. The uh, the fifth one was a real simple you, you, you one. You could only, that was it. You had to identify three out of five people. Yeah, and basically to give you, you can only make so many mistakes. I made one. You could, if you make three errors, basically you get tunneled out. I did have to change my, 
my, uh, my security code number, my security thing, because they wouldn't recognize the one I quit. Oh, here's another fun one. Go check your email, folks. All these people have changed their, you know, you've got to have new passwords on almost every site. They change the password structure. Oh, yeah, that was the fun part, because, you know, sometimes you forget your password and you're not supposed to write it down anywhere. Mm -hmm. So, you went to one that had changed from, here's a time, period in time when you made the password, here's where they made the change, right? But you never changed yours. So here you're asking about, and you're looking at the format, right? Like if you're doing a new one, what your password's supposed to be, and you're like, is that the format? I probably would have done this, right? And nothing's going through. No, well, nothing. We yeah. just sat there, could not figure out. Then it goes, you know, sends it to your, you know, and said, well, we'll send you a password change to the email. We got Apple email you no longer use because you don't use that password. You don't use that email anymore. So you're figuring out why isn't it coming to my email? And you're looking at all your emails. Oh, did I say emails plural? Like, who would have more than one email? Uh, we do. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually a lot of people that have more than one email. I was actually thinking of getting another one. There are people that have emails for. Uh, well, there's some that, you know, like all those clubs that they belong to, they do yeah. all the emails there. Yeah. Right? And then there's your business email. Mm -hmm. Then there's your personal email. See, my name is not Old Cam. It's, it's not? I and, thought that was and, your and name. It, and it is really not WH. It's, a, it's basically a name that's about like this. And I have an email that's about like that. My family name is like this. Everything else is smaller. But my well, that goes back to those early days of AOL and... All the names got taken up really fast. Well, that's where you'd have a name like, um, let's say, not a spring chick five six seven eight or something. Yeah, we've had or one three five. You can tell how long ago we got these things because there are lots of old cams out there now. We have. Are there? Chicks. Yeah, there's lots of not a spring chicks and there's lots of Monty bubbles. What happens is they all they all uh, assume that people will um, feed off of. <laughs>